so i was sitting at home and she was gone and i was like i might as well get out of the house as well there's no one else in the house and so we're going on a very casual and spontaneous solo date um there is a road house that's very close to my house that's where we're going to be going i'll be showing you what i'm having and i'm hoping that i want to do a little walking around like after having the meal uh, so that I can actually get to my 10k steps. I am on a mission to get to 10k steps for each day. We have how many days? About like three days or four. So today would either be my fourth day or my fifth day. I'm not sure anymore. But yeah, I'm trying to like get out of the house and do something. If not for that, I'm probably just going to end up in the house sleeping in like my very dirty clothes that I should have changed a long time ago. So this is me trying to get out of the house more and like get the sun okay because i know we do this a lot this whole staying in the house thing so i'm going on a date let's let's go together let's go eat together they're so hot so i need to get our eyes because yeah i wouldn't be able to make it to <laughs> where we're going if i actually didn't get an ice because it's so hot oh my word i think this is the hottest it's ever been and weirdly enough, I was expecting it to then get cold because usually when it gets this hot, it then turns cold after some time. So, wow, it's not working in our favor. I'm listening to a video. Yes, you heard me right. I'm listening to a video. I don't listen to podcasts. I actually need to start listening to podcasts. I'm listening to a video by Dan Ko um, that is talking about our life. I say the topic, I, I forgot the name of the topic. One of the worst things you can do is get trapped in the mind of the noble brokey. Many intelligent people that I know hate the thought of marketing, sales, and online business because they think it's below them. Even if they don't say that explicitly, they think that. And you can tell that they think that from what they say. They get locked into what they think is a quote unquote higher perspective that demonizes the sleazy salesman. In reality, this is an illusion. This higher perspective is filled with misunderstanding, a lack of empathy, and hate. It is on par with if not a lower level of consciousness than the sleazy salesman himself. This is similar to how Republicans and Democrats fight or how carnivores and vegans fight. People get trapped in a specific ideology and they identify with it so it becomes their identity and something that threatens their survival when the idea of their identity is threatened. And so when they engage in these narrow-minded discussions or arguments of the online business person versus the everything is a scam person or everyone should go out and live in the woods and do nothing and meditate all day person when this happens there is no chance at discovering the holistic truth of the situation basically it's talking about the whole thing of people who complain or like who think they're above selling something so they're like, no, I wouldn't sell anything. Like they don't sell their own market because they feel like they are at a higher status. So they shouldn't have to sell anything. You know, spiritual people, like I actually have seen people like that. But I'm better than this. I, I, I don't want to sell. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't have to sell anything. But then the issue is they then have to still conform to the way society is created. Because even if you don't like how things are, if you're not willing to change anything, you still have to live in it so they end up being forced to work for someone who's doing unethical things that they're complaining about because their whole ideology is that people who make money do it in unethical ways so like they don't make money in a good way like and impact the environment in a good way so the whole capitalism thing and everything that you hear people talking about i had to pause recording for a bit you know storage problems guys i really need to buy a camera because this whole thing that i'm doing is not working because I'm struggling to like you know manage everything because I always have to like delete, download, I uh, think basically create videos, then put them onto CapCut, delete everything else so that I can actually have storage. But anyway, as I was saying, so I was talking about uh, the spiritual people feel like they're above the whole selling and like you know monetizing and so on. So they choose to just work. But the thing is, they're working for people who are doing all those unethical things that they're talking about so the people who only care about money and don't care about people's well-being that they actually against they still work for those people and help them with the business that they are complaining about so it makes no sense so that's the reason why so he was talking about how 
instead of them complaining about it they should have been monetizing so that they can actually create this world that they want instead of complaining about it you don't want a world that is destroying the environment create businesses that don't destroy the environment because now because you're just complaining about it and doing nothing about it what happens is there's no competition for those businesses so there's no reason for them to try and be better i think the best example for this was uh victoria's secret their way of making girls uh, uh, um, buy their things was by basically showing off bodies that were non-existent so we couldn't attain that but then we had this like high standard of like my body's supposed to look like this if it doesn't look like this it's it's not the way it's it's supposed to be and so many people ended up hating their bodies because they'll see these models that they didn't look like and so now when came like the body positivity movement and more businesses started incorporating plus size um they started incorporating bigger sizes and so on only now did victoria's secrets actually start having models that yeah they're still skinny yes but they're actually getting better as in like they have people that look real now so what i'm saying is if you want to create this world that you won't be complaining about you have to actually start that business you have to be the one who's like okay no this is how things are i don't like how things are let me create a solution to this problem that i found the best way to make money is by identifying a problem that you've seen in your own life and actually you know turning that into a business because you're not the only one that's identified that problem that's the one thing that we don't understand if you're seeing a problem in your life there's a high chance that someone else is having the exact same problem there's nothing original about us let me be so honest we humans have nothing original about us so if you're complaining about something trust that someone else is having the same problem and you can actually fix that problem in your own life so that you can teach other people how they can fix that for their own life i'm so sorry for like the change in uh um, lighting but i'm walking so and i wanted to share my two cents on the mirror so that's 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 it yeah we'll continue this conversation when i get to my destination but for now yeah bye i'm gonna continue listening to this video by dan Cole. honestly this man is amazing i recommend him to everyone i'm always posting like a snippet of his videos on my whatsapp because i just love how this man's mind works it's actually very fascinating to me like i don't know how to explain it this is something about him wow like it's, it's just amazing like i don't know how how he thinks how he got to that level of like being able to articulate himself well and like how he's he's a very calm person i'm not calm we all know that <laughs> he's a very calm person and he speaks and you understand him when he speaks and that's an amazing thing so yeah we will continue this properly as i get to the restaurant now obviously i've shared quite a lot while sharing my two cents and something that i do need us to actually talk about is then the execution the biggest problem that i've seen is a lot of us consume content a lot of us learn a lot from social media and especially if you follow me then you must probably learn a lot from social media because you are interested in learning about business and marketing and self-development and all that stuff that goes with it but the issue is not many of us actually implement what we learn and that's the biggest issue if you want to then work towards the life that you are actually seeing from the people that you follow and so on you need to implement what you're learning if they tell you that the way they actually got started was by learning a skill go and learn a skill okay i'm actually telling you next like, straight up if you want to actually make money please learn a skill any skill that you can think of honestly i am going to do a video on um high value skills that you can learn but honestly anything whether it's going to be sales marketing copywriting speaking um it's going to be web design it's going to be there's so many things graphic design there's so many things that you can actually learn in order to change your life i genuinely have a belief that you do not need in this day and age you do not need to have a degree or any diploma or any qualifications in order to actually get a job that you actually want to do now 
hear me out i for one do not believe that you need to stick to your job retire at like 50 something or 60 something um i believe that life is supposed to be lived and i want to live that life when i am you know in pain and almost dying okay so i do believe in retiring early so that means that i live in getting a job in order to finance your dreams finance the business that you're starting because the truth is you do at some point you're going to need money in order to invest in yourself to invest in your business depending on what type of business you're starting although the business i started does not require any money because well I, I i want to be able to make money from the knowledge that i have but that does mean that i still need to like educate myself and invest in myself so yes i will get a job but i'm not planning on working there for like 10 plus years i'm probably gonna like work for about like five years so that i can be building my business on the side once my business picks up then i'm ditching that <laughs> i believe that a job is meant to be a, a stepping stone not to be where you stay you shouldn't be so comfortable with the job and not have any other stream of income because it never ends well and that's something that i feel like people did not learn from covid eh? this is a lesson that we should have learned from covid when so many people lost their jobs and they lost everything basically but it seems it's not clicking to people because they still continue to do the same thing so now let's break down exactly what i spoke about in this whole thing so one if you want to live or create your dream life you need to be educating yourself you need to be consuming content from people who are living the life that you want to live because i can tell you now they will give you information that they used in their own lives and it's best to learn from someone who's already where you want to be you then take them almost as a mentor so that you can learn from their own experiences and avoid certain things that could have been avoided if they uh, had the knowledge that they're now imparting into you two you need to make sure that you actually know what you want you need to this means okay there's there's some nuance here even if you don't know what you want you need to start with something i started off with the jewelry business do i have a jewelry business right now no the business that i have right now is not a jewelry business and that's okay you just need to get started with something you need something to start i to change at a later stage what's important is that you have actually started number three give yourself some grace you are starting out you have absolutely no idea what you're doing the life that you want to live most probably no one around you actually is living that life you're starting from scratch you have no connections you have no money you have no network no one knows who you are and quite frankly they don't care about who you are so you're basically starting from scratch at a negative a thousand you're going to mess up that is very normal for you to do you're going to mess up and the sooner you realize that messing up is okay the better it's going to be for you because it will save you from depression and anxiety and all those things and you know imposter syndrome and everything because it's okay for you to start out at negative 1000 okay because we're going to build up until we actually get to where we want to get to yes it's easier it's unfair um it's easier on other people some people already have a head start but if you continue complaining about how other people have it easy while you don't it does not change the situation that you're currently in in your life what you then need to do is to make sure that you are building your life you're building the life that you want to have so if you mess up you make mistakes that's okay you fail that's redirection we're going to have to change our mindset when it comes to failure failure is not a bad thing you learn from failing because you fail you then redirect you change your way and you might find something that makes you a lot more money than you expected to actually actually make and that is okay so hear it from me that has been failing <laughs> quite a lot that yes i'm still working on my journey i'm still building the life that i want for myself and i'm giving myself that grace i'm learning to I'm not very good at it i'm learning to give myself that grace and i want you to start doing that for yourself as well because it's hard enough for you to work towards the dream life that you see for yourself and then still bashing yourself for failing to do so when you have no good examples and no way basically you're, you're bootstrapping this whole thing okay so be sure to stay tuned for more lessons that i learned because i will be sharing them with you